Alrighty guys, go to Boy32 here, check it out, sitting here we got my big monster cup of joe this morning and I got my little man Connor Boy32, say hey Connor. Hello. Hello. Alright, real quickly before we get started on this review here, we're talking to give a real quick shout out to a couple people, Big Johnson, The Gun Nut, Dirt Road, 704 Tactical, Spec Operator 4, Chuck Connors, check out Chuck Connors' uh, YouTube channel, he's got a really cool one, subscribe, let's help him grow, also Big Johnson, help him grow as well. Uh, we got Uzi 9mm. We got Pops Quest. He's got the upcoming farm again. Dub Glock 23. <laughs> the Dubster. We always love that guy. And Machine Gun Kelly X. If you want some good deals on some ammo, on, uh, not Amazon, but uh, ammunition, he can certainly help you out. All right, guys. Well, let's talk about a couple things. When I got this FNX 45, this is it. This is probably, this is now my carry weapon. And the reason it's my carry weapon is I finally found a holster that I could literally carry this firearm concealed. And I'm going to tell you something. In the summertime, unbelievable. But, guys, this thing right here is a beast. It is a big gun. And if you wanted the notes, it, it, it's, it's a lot of fun. But when you have something like this on your side, you really do feel, let's just say, confident. All right, so the biggest thing about the FNX, though, is the availability of holsters. And, and that's where I ran into an issue. However, ran into this company da -da 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 -da, called Vetter. Vetter Holsters. They're American made. They're out of, where are you guys? Out of Mount Dora, Florida. Guys, I'm just gonna give you a real quick run through. And I was real impressed with their uh, their uh, light tuck. So I went ahead and asked them to send me up this guy right here. Now, let's talk about a couple things. This is called their light draw. To be perfectly honest with you, I have nothing bad to say about this guy right here. Now, the only thing that I had any issues with when it first arrived was these screws were just a tad loose. Went ahead and just tighten those up. Just kept attention to the screw right here. But let's go ahead and run through the details real quickly. This thing is called the light draw. Retails for about $65.99 and that's for your base colors. Different colors and let me, let me think. I think, oh, 36 different colors they offer on this thing to include this carbon fiber and we'll go through that here in a minute. Again, like I said, made in the USA. Their Kydex versions are .08 Kydex. They also offer the sight channels for any aftermarket sights, extended barrels. They also, they, I mean, basically, guys, what they do is they detail this holster to your specific firearm, which is really, really, really cool. Now, let's run through some of the features of this thing. You've got a tensioning screw right here. You've got all these grommets here, which I really like. Also, you can utilize these things, put some paracord through there, some 550 cord and run that around your leg if you need to, or you need to tighten it up to a piece of rig. This offers two different types of clips. You've got 1.5 inch clips, and you have 1.75 inch clips. There's some variable areas right here that you can raise and lower this, how it rides. This particular holster comes with a 10 degree cant to the front. Now, I would have to say, and I, I can qualify this holster because I have worn it for about two weeks now, non-stop. Now, again, one of my things is I do love a paddle holster and the reason I like a paddle holster is the ease of taking it on and off now with the belt a little you know there's a little bit of work involved in it all right going back to the details on this thing got the tensioning screw right here the form fit and finish is excellent now one of the things I really want to show you is the degree in which they polish the edges on this thing essentially making it a single piece all the way around I really, really dig this thing. The interior of it, if you can't see in there, it's polished and smooth. I've been wearing this thing for two weeks now. I have not noticed anywhere on my firearm. I've taken this thing and done some range and some other activities with it, and it's worked perfectly. You want to talk about fit and finish? Look at that. Now, what I'm going to do in a minute here, I'm going to go ahead and put it on so you can see exactly how tight it does. And I've worn t-shirts over this and not had any issues out of it. All right, the thing comes with a 30-day risk-free policy here. If you don't like it, you can go ahead and send it back in 30, in 30 days. It comes with a lifetime warranty. Of course, if you uh, you know beat it up and damage it, you know that's on you. But if anything happens to the holster from the manufacturer standpoint, they will take care of it with no cost to you other than shipping. All right, so like I said, 36 different colors. This particular model is the carbon fiber, and this is a Holstex material. And you can get it front and back if you want. This particular model doesn't have it in the back. I don't really care about the back of it, but I'm going to be honest. Look at that, man. That is an elegant looking color. It matches a tactical firearm. But these come not only in black, 
but in just a, a ton of different colors. Like I said, 36 different colors. All right, guys, so that is it on the holster portion right there. Fit and finish. Let me just show you. Go ahead and again, put the firearm in there. As you can see, magazine ejectors protected right there. Safety switch is protected against the skin right there. Just look at the fit and finish on that. They first thing that they asked me was what type of FNX do you have? Do you have the uh, tactical or not? I was just saying I got the regular old cheapo one. But it just fits in there perfectly. Alright, now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put this thing on and show you exactly what it looks like when it's tied to the body. Stand by. All right, guys, I've got this thing on right now. And one of the things about me is I've got a very large frame. I mean, the shoulders are very wide other than I haven't been able to work out for about three months because of this damn shingle situation, but it's getting better. Uh, let's take a look at this thing from the side point, you can see. Now, the only complaint that I would ever have with this thing, is, and it's specific to this firearm in itself because of the large handle, is that I would like some additional tilt. Now, one of the things I may try to do is rearrange one of these uh, clips so that it's a little lower so they can actually do that on its own but as you can see it's very tight to the side I love the way that carbon fiber looks it matches the firearm itself it looks good in black but, you know hey whatever so guys that's what it looks like you're able to take wear the t-shirt underneath you've got the side protection here so it does feel decent on the skin you don't have any issues there uh, we're gonna go back to the table now do the final assessment stand by all right, guys, so my overall assessment of this thing is I like it. I like it a lot. I don't think I'll have any issues down the road. It, like I said, it, it is built well. I love the way they polish the edges on this thing, the fit and finish, the conformity to the firearm. The retention is excellent. Adjustable tension screw right there. And to be perfectly honest with you, one of the things that I found that with the belt holster, I pretty much will put this on in the morning and I will wear it till I go to bed and it, it just it stays on me 24 7 and that's basically it guys code of boy 32 support the boys in blue as always god bless america god bless those men and women in uniform 24 7 for our freedom because freedom is not free code of boy 32 out oh yeah. Oh yeah.